I think a lot about this, um, it's not a diorama, but this balance between creating a successful environment for women, especially black women, and then also avoiding perpetuating the existing issues that are, that, that are there. What I'm talking about in particular is hybrid workout. Because what we're seeing is, of course, and this has been reported on time and time again in the past few months, is that people of colour and women prefer to work from home due to the flexibility it provides for managing also to avoid racism, sexism, any of the isms that they face by going into the office. However, and this is the big however, it's exacerbating another existing problem of being overlooked or being left out of the informal um, meetups that may happen in the office. And now we're seeing a reintroduction of, you know, a lot of co-organizations now have a mandatory three days a week in the office. Or they have, um, you know, uh, you have to come in every, every other week or whatever it might be. But what's really critical here is, is your organization doing two things? One, making those presence days worthwhile, i.e., are you prioritizing and organizing critical meetings for those days where women, black women, women of color are coming into the office so that they're still not missing out on informal opportunities? And B, how are you further changing the culture to encourage them to want to come back? Because there's the, there's two parts, right? It's this part around, if I'm there, okay, that's great, that's FaceTime, but is it adding value to me? Because right now, from, an, from a, an organization's perspective, coming into the office doesn't feel like a value add. There's been two years of not needing to go into the office. So being forced now almost feels like a step backwards rather than a step forwards in terms of work-life balance, if that's, you know, work-life balance or flexibility or any of those things, or just simply feeling like you can work stress-free. So when you're implementing or when your organization is implementing this, you know, you have to be present in the office for three days, great. But are you making it worth it for those women who come into the office? And this means being intentional about what those three days look like. And it might be, there might have to be a mandated team meeting day. Let's call it a Wednesday, the day when everybody needs to be in the office so that you can get together, whether it's formally or informally. Or it might be a strategy meeting that will be held on a particular day, being organized in advance. Of course, you have to make exceptions for anybody who may be on holiday. But above and beyond that, is your organization maximizing and leveraging the time that is there when in general there's a reticence to come back to the office? Because without doing that, it feels like and it will come across as though this is being implemented and being forced which does not in any way engender engagement it's not going to make the women in your organization feel like they want to be there it's not going to make them go oh wow now that i'm forced to be back in the office and i don't see the point of being back in the office your organization has to make it worth it You have to show why they need to be there, not just because you said so, not because this is a power trip, but because there is a genuine value add in being present in the office. If you're aiming for an equitable organization, if you're aiming for an organization that has an inclusive culture, then part of this is engagement. And that means, do I feel comfortable or do I feel put under pressure? And how you go about implementing going back to going back to the office will determine how your women in the workplace will feel about you.